grandma's there. Well, a winter storm has arrived in the Delta, bringing snow, sleet, and freezing rain over the entire region. This is a special weather report. Now we're going to go to Ray with a look at what's happening. Thanks, Ray. And as you can imagine, the driving conditions are very dangerous tonight with all the ice and snow on the roads. WXVT meteorologist Steve Dreyer is live tonight with more on that from Greenville. Steve. Kayla, I'm over here standing at the intersection of Highway 82 and Highway 1 here in Greenville. And as you can see probably behind me, we just have a few cars actually out and about tonight. And the roadways over here on Highway 1 north and south and 82 aren't that bad. And if you can see in the shot, we do have snow actually falling. And the temperatures right now are probably in the low 20s with wind chills, probably in the lower teens, upper single digits. I wouldn't be surprised. And the thing is what's going to happen is once this precipitation is over, the ground roadways are actually going to freeze up. So I wouldn't recommend traveling at any point throughout the rest of the evening, especially roads that haven't been driven on through the entire day are still covered with sleet, snow and ice. It's amazing like how cold it is out here for this time of year for the Delta and temperatures are going to be like this for the next several days as Ray probably just mentioned in his forecast. So here are just a few winter driving tips to keep in mind if you are going to go out and about. One of the first things you do have to keep in mind is don't drive fast. Drive according to the weather conditions. Leave plenty of distance and uh, space in front of you and behind you. Another thing you have to keep in mind is do not text and talk while you are driving. Remember, 10 and 2 is the rule. Like I said, keep a safe difference from, distance from other cars. Do not brake suddenly. If you realize that you are on a patch of ice or you're out of control, pump your brakes and turn your car into the slide so you can stay in control of your vehicle at all times. If you haven't done so already, during cold temperatures, the air pressure is lower than your car. So if you haven't properly pressurized your tires, you can actually lose traction while driving. Of course, give yourself extra travel time when going to your destination. And please make sure you have filled up your car gas tank and topped off your fluids. Overall, Driving conditions right now here at the highway intersection of 1 and 82 isn't too bad, but we expect the road conditions to deteriorate throughout the evening as temperatures continue to drop here across the Delta and throughout the region as roadways that are untreated will begin to freeze. So reporting live here in Greenville, the intersection of Highway 1 82, Steve Dreyer, WXVT Delta News. And now we're going to go to WXVT's meteorologist Steve Dreyer one more time, who is out live tonight in Greenville with a look at the driving conditions. Steve? Kaylin, this is what's going on. It's currently still seeing standing at the corner of Highway 182, and this is the kind of precipitation that kind of fell today. A light granular ice is actually now frozen into something solid. And if you're actually taking a look at your windshields out and about before you even touched your car today, they're kind of frozen over. So a couple words of advice if you do not have an ice scraper. Do not put hot water on your windshield. It will crack. Slowly pour some cold water along the windshield. If you have a towel or maybe a broom, maybe you can like, sweep it off. But don't use hot water. Right now, currently, it's sleeting out here. Once again, the snow has changed over to sleet. Uh, the winds have continued to pick up. So it feels like it's the upper uh, single digits, lower teens. Uh, as Ray sure probably mentioned, the temperatures are only in the mid 20s, 24, 25, 26 degrees. Traffic is actually moving pretty darn good over here at the intersection here in Greenville. So overall, traffic is flowing. However, I do not recommend any travel if you're going north of the city, especially going towards Cleveland Shaw, where the roads are pretty treacherous. A lot of roads have not been traveled on today, so the ice and snow and sleet is still on the roadways and that's going to continue to accumulate as right now as you can probably see in my shot right now that the sleet is still coming down so right now overall from a very windy and chilly night here in greenville this is steve dry reporting for wxvt delta news ray and caitlin back to you at the studio <laughs> oh thanks a lot steve okay